Hey guys, Alec Torelli here. Super excited for today's video about bet sizing strategy. But before we jump in, I wanna let you know there's an awesome blog, The Definitive Guide to Bet Sizing Strategy that I just dropped on the Conscious Poker blog, totally free at the link below, or you could just Google Conscious Poker Bet Sizing Strategy and you'll see it. There are a ton of videos embedded in there about this subject and all my thoughts about bet sizing strategy along with a chart that shows you graphically how to structure your bet sizes and continuation bets as well. Check it out at the link below, it's awesome. And now let's jump into the video. Hey guys, it's Alex Torelli and welcome back to an episode of the Hand of the Day from the Win Macau. Hand of the Day. This hand kicks off in a 300-600 game out here and villain in mid position raises to 1500, which is a standard raise size in our game, two and a half X. VIP calls and I call in the small blind with king queen and at the big blind calls we go four ways to the flop flop comes down king jack jack rainbow i check big blind checks middle position checks and the button checks he goes four ways to the turn turn comes to six of spades and here i opt to lead for 3k i like a half size half bet half the the, the half pot size bet here because it keeps my range a little bit wider. It allows me to bluff more profitably with hands like queen 10, ace queen, ace 10, maybe even 10, nine, and some flush draws. And it also allows me to value bet with hands like king 10 or king queen. And it also could throw in some jacks in there as well to keep my range balanced. So I think it's a good bet size here. Um, There's not that many hands that I'm worried about. Everybody check the flop. It's really unlikely someone has a jack. And the everyone check the flop so it's kind of unlikely people have a king as well maybe like the button or the big blind is going to check king x or the button's going to check king 10 suited or something like that but i'm not really too worried about the mid position because he probably would have bet with any of his strong hands on the flop so i bet 3k big blind folds mid position calls and at this point i'm putting him on a weak type of hand with showdown value something like queens or tens or maybe a flush draw Maybe something like ace queen or ace 10 as well. But again, probably not a king because he didn't bet the flop. Maybe king 10 at worst, but probably not. And I think ace king or better bets the flop. So I don't really put him on that many of those types of hands. Anyway, the button folds and we go heads up to the river. River comes another jack, bringing the flush draw. So at this point I have a boat, but I beat any flush, which is a great card for me because a flush is a decent part of his potential calling range on the river. Now it's obvious I'm gonna bet here because he's never really gonna bet a worse hand for me on the river, but the question is how much should I bet? And it's here where I wanna talk about bet sizing strategy in no limit hold'em cash games. Now in this spot, you wanna think to yourself, One of two things. If you're playing against a really good solid player who I was playing against, you wanna take a game theory approach and you wanna say, what's the best bet size that puts his range in a tough spot? Well, his range is mainly like we said, some ace high hands, some under pairs like queens and tens and nines, and some flushes. So all those hands are bluff catchers. So what's the bet size that makes it really difficult for a bluff catcher? You don't wanna bet two times the pot, it's really easy for a bluff catcher to fold, and you don't wanna bet the size of the pot because of the same thing. You wanna bet something like a third to half the pot because it makes it really difficult for those bluff catcher hands. They're tempted to call because they still beat some bluffs, but they're in a really tough spot because all of your value hands are gonna now beat him. So that's the bet size I opted to use against this particular player, and I bet 5K, which is about a third to half the pot. If I was playing against a weak player before I give you the results, if I was playing against a really bad player that's just never gonna fold anything, I might bet the size of the pot to make him think I'm bluffing and because he's just gonna hero me with a flush or a pair so often. So it really depends, in my opinion, on who your opponent is and you wanna vary your bet sizing strategy accordingly. As played, because I was playing against that good player, I bet 5K, he ended up calling him and hawing for a long time and I think it was right about that sweet spot bet size that got me paid off and got me winning the most amount of money. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. How do you formulate your bet sizing strategy in this particular hand? I always learn something when I hear from you guys. Leave your thoughts in a comment below. The best comment, the best response, I will pin to the top of this video, and I'll also give you free month to our Conscious Poker Pro membership, which you can learn more about in the description below. Thanks for watching, and you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe to our channel because there's a ton of awesome content coming your way from the Win Macau. If you wanna know about the high stakes poker scene, my life here as a high stakes poker player and coach, more hand of the day videos and vlogs, definitely subscribe to this YouTube because awesome stuff is coming at you. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time on the hand of the day. Cheers.